Ladies and gentlemen, I am Nigel Worcestershire, and I'm joined here with Alvis Pulley of Public Works, and we are here tonight live at Public Works, reporting at CNT. And, and Mr. Alvis, I, I need to ask, mate, you've got a bit of a story here for us. Why are you bringing this information forward, mate? All right, why don't you phone us down here to Public Works tonight? Oh, I phoned you down here today. Uh, as I'm not actually sure how aware the public is of this, but our leader, Bevins Garvey, is missing. Dun, dun, dun. Goodness gracious, mate. And, and Mr. Bevins Garvey, do you have any information on what happened to Mr. Garvey that you want to bring forward to the people at home? He was uh, allegedly kidnapped by uh, Mr. Hans, or whatever his goddamn name is, Hans, Hans McGee X. <laughs> Mr. Hans XF, also known as Mr. Fritz, all right, allegedly, okay. Yes, there's a lot of evidence to pointing to that being real, true. Absolutely. And, and so you're bringing this information, this information here forward to the public in, in hopes for Mr. Mr. Garvey's safe return from Mr. Fritz here, correct? Absolutely. I am, uh, I am announcing that uh, I uh, have uh, partnered with some uh, close friends to announce that we have a $100,000 reward for the safe return of Bevins Garvey to Public Works, our lovely leader. Absolutely. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen, live on CNT. Mr. Alvis Polly of Public Works and some known associates of his have put forth a $100,000 reward on the safe return of, of their, their foreman, Bevan Scarvey, here at the Public Works. He's rumored to have allegedly been kidnapped by Hans, Mr. FX, or Mr. Fritz. All right, he's taken Mr. Garvey, it appears to be hostage here, and has not made a little bit of a reach out for demands or anything of that nature. All right. And ladies, and gentlemen, I want to take this time to also let you know that I personally have had experience with this individual and that is why we're going live tonight as well because I personally want to bring forward this information. Okay? The people have a right to be properly informed of, political, of, of potential threats against the public safety and well-being. Alright? And I personally will not be silenced and the story will not be stifled. Alright? So if Mr. Alvis Polly's reward and, and just some of my experiences here with Mr. Hans, ladies and gentlemen, this this man has has stopped me to an extent, w w wanting to, uh, so to speak, uh, take my hands from me. All right, making claims that I have perfect hands, and he wants to be able to caress them for the rest of his days, or, or things of that disturbing nature. All right, he he's made allegations to me that he's done this in the past, and he's removed people's hands. All right, he sent us he photographs. My finger. It's, He's taken Mr. Polly's finger over here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so you have to be aware. Be careful. All right, the public needs to have their eyes peeled. Okay, for anything out of the ordinary, if you see something, you need to be informed and you need to be speaking up and saying something. All right. This individual was last seen wearing a bit of dark blue coveralls. He was located here at the Public Works. Dark brown hair. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, he's got a bit of a, a, a furrowed brow. Okay, thin eyebrows, a bit of a round face on the chub side. Okay, you need to be a lookout, the public of San Andreas, and you need to be aware. Okay, we've identified him as we've been giving him the moniker as Hans at CNT. He's he's claimed to us that he would like to be referred to as Mr. XF. All right. We've had a team of private investigators uncover a bit of information for us here at CNT, and we believe his last name is Mr. Fritz. All right, so we want the public to be aware. Mr. Polly, we do appreciate you calling us down here uh, to Public Works tonight in, in wanting this information to come forward and, and wanting your story to be told, mate. All right, I wanted it to come down pleasure. here make sure I, I gave you that platform because I'm sharing the experiences with you. All right, I'm being a bit of tormented by this individual as well. Okay? Absolutely. Bring our boy home. Sure, we will try our best, Mr. Polly. Thank you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to segue over, and I'm going to be joined tonight over here. If I can transition, thank you again, Mr. Polly. If I no can problem. transition over here, we're going to be joined by an individual tonight that has been on the front line of this situation as well, but would like to remain anonymous this evening. All right. So, uh, uh, 
Mr. Black, we're going to refer, refer to you as for the, for the rest of this interview. Uh, Mr. Black, and, and why, mate, did you want to come down here this evening and bring your story forward of your interactions with Mr. XF? And ladies and gentlemen at home, Mr. Black here is going to communicate by written communications, and I will read his responses to you on the air. Just having a bit of a pen to his thoughts here, ladies and gentlemen. I will update you as soon as he passes the network along here. All right, so you can see he's concerned about the public safety and that the LSPD is not informing the public about this dangerous man. All right, again, I will state we have people here that do not want this story to be stifled, and the people have the, have the right to be informed of threats to their safety. All right, and what kind of interactions have you had with this bloke here, Mr. Black? Inform us a little bit on what you've got going on on your side. So Mr. Black has been investigating this bloke for several weeks. He has contacted him several times directly, all right? And has he made any threats against your safety, all right? Or general threats against the public and people he's stalking and things he might do to the people of San Andreas? And again, ladies and gentlemen, while Mr. Black is collecting his thoughts on paper here, I want to remind you, we're not giving this platform this eve as, as, as a, a way to glorify this individual, right? He's not threatened Mr. Black directly, but he has threatened members of the media, the government, and the general public, all right? Myself and the media as well, all right? He has killed and maimed several individuals from the general public, Mr. Black is stating here, Public Works and others, all right? He severed two fingers of two separate members of Public Works here, okay? And he's also been stalking the individuals here as well. And as you've heard earlier this evening, he's taken foreman of Public Works, Bevan Scarby hostage, and Alvis Polly and his direct associates have offered a $100,000 bounty on the safe return of Mr. Garvey. We're hoping by getting this information out, we'll, we'll have the public's head on a bit of a swivel, all right, and we'll have more information coming in. All right, Mr. Black here is stating the police have known his real name as Ray Fritz, ladies and gentlemen. They have his phone number, his date of birth, vehicular info, and other information as well. It appears that LSPD has all the proper information they need to possibly make an arrest on this individual, and we're not sure what is transpiring here, but, but we have we have to do our due diligence. Mr. Mr. Black is stating here they have chosen not to inform the public at all, despite his danger to the general public. All right, and I would have to say that I myself, Nigel Worcestershire, am in a bit of agreement of that, and that's why I wanted to come forward today to bring this story to the public. This has been a bit of a torment on me. It's why a bit heavy on my conscience all right but the the information is is not being released at a proper doll i feel to, to the public knowledge space so want to make sure we took time to do that tonight mr black has another message for us here the lspd chose to file an injunction against cnt and weasel to block all information about this dangerous man being published all right, so we have given the time this evening as personal individuals, ladies and gentlemen, trying to do our due diligence to the public and trying to do our right service and making sure you're informed of, of potential dangers to your safety. So again, please be on the lookout for this individual, Ray Fritz, also known as Hans, also known as Mr. XF, all right, dark brown hair, furrowed eyebrow. Here we go from Mr. Black again. We need to protect the people of San Andreas and the First Amendment. Correct, Mr. Black. So be on the lookout again. Dark blue coveralls was last seen wearing. Dark brown curled hair. All right. Thin furrowed eyebrows and a bit of a chubby face. 
Mr. Black's running us another note here. This man also goes by the alias of Mr. Smith and calls people anonymously often. He may make contact to you, asking you to be a bit of a hand model or if he could take a bit of a sculpture of your hands. All right, please do not respond to these calls alone. Bring a friend, possibly phone private security, all right, or the LSPD themselves. Try to get yourself a bit of a protection, all right? If if you do see this individual or have anything interesting to, to add to the possible uh, return of Mr. Garvey or capture of Mr. Fritz, also known as Hans, or Mr. FX, XF, please contact CNT directly or the LSPD. Ladies and gentlemen, again, I have been Nigel Wishesha, all right? Thank you for your time as well, Mr. Black. I've been joined this evening by Mr. Black and Mr. Albus Pulley. We've been reporting live from Public Works this evening. And again, there's a $100,000 reward on the safe return of Mr. Bevins Garvey of Public Works. Back to you at CNT. Thank you.